Hey guys, I'm LB, and that was a rather abrupt intro, just immediately here. Right, we are playing Reconstruction Part 2 by Lone Wolf 2056, medium difficulty, as GLaDOS powers up the facility, you continue testing, looking for an escape. Thanks to Jose Pez DJ, Custom Signage, and LP Freak 90, Team S98, Mebius, and Vampire Sausage for testing. Right, let's get to it then. Interesting. So we can go in this direction. What is going on there? So we can go in this direction. That's not portable, even though it looks like it is. And I guess this is where we came from last map? I don't really remember now. Did we come from here last time? Maybe? I... I remember... I remember that we fell at the end of last map, or at least I thought we did. It's been so long, I honestly don't remember, unfortunately. Hmm. This next test... is... Dangerous, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, okay then. You know, I didn't think GLaDOS made tests like this, I thought that this was like for Wheatley tests, and... Look at that, there's a companion game stuck right there in the tomb! <laughs> what are the chances of that happening accidentally, for real? <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, so that's a way to fling somewhere. I guess we'll hit that or something. If we do. What is the gear cog signage? Is that what Jose Pez DJ made custom signage for? Huh. Well anyway, this is reconstruction part two, number 33 out of 35 of my queue, apparently. Interesting. What is going on up here? I know where to go to start the map, I'm just looking around out of curiosity, because this is some really nice hammer work. Maybe not the best hammer work, but it's nice. So this looks like it turns off the fizzler, right? And that goes to... What exactly? I guess this? Perhaps? There's a portal surface down there for some reason, I guess that's to fling into? There's another one there. Huh. There's all kinds of stuff moving around making noise in here. Does this auto-respawn? Probably not, right? Uh, what? Hold on. I need to see that again. What just happened there? It just immediately gets deleted. Okay. Not exactly the most elegant way to approach that problem, but sure. What does this do for us? Here's the one we can actually pick up! Fancy that! Ouch! No thank you! How about we do this, for starters? Not entirely sure how that's going to help, but, uh, you know, it's worth a shot. And then let's try this, even though I don't expect this to do anything for us. Yep, that did absolutely nothing, except almost send me to my death. Huh. Hmm... What exactly do we want to do here? Seems like there's a couple turrets over there, based on those turret lines. Not really seeing a good way to hit that unless we have the cube up here, right? Yeah, if we can get up on that platform and put the cube in place... Then... I don't see a portal surface at the same height level as that, though. Maybe we would have to launch the laser out of this. Maybe that's what this is for. Who knows. Alright, well, let's go back over there. And what if, instead, I do this? That gets us up here. So that's at least something worth considering. Yeah, maybe we should do this first. Maybe that's exactly what the laser's for. Oh, crap! Holy- what the- Excuse me? I can do that? That's a thing? I think there might be a scripted push there. <laughs> that's, uh... Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be that way. But, uh, yeah. So let's just take this for now. And... There's that much taken care of. Portal there. Oh yeah, fancy that! It's like made for this. There you have it. Hmm. 
Oh, look at that. That works even better. Yeah, check that out. Ta-da! It's like magic. So that gives us another laser cube, which I guess we're gonna using gonna be using to burn turrets. What? You're not supposed to use that model for turrets that actually work. Are you insane? That's not how that works. Um, do this and this. I guess I can get that guy pretty easily, right? Let's do that. Hello there. Oops, that's not quite what I want you to do, but... Sure, whatever. Hello. Uh, I don't know what this portal surface is gonna be used for, but I guess we'll find out, right? Target lost. You bet target's lost. Hibernating. <laughs> it vanished in a fiery death. Right, so let's see what's up here. We need both cubes. Gotcha. Hmm. Well, if we keep portals on both sides, it should be mostly straightforward, right? Hmm. Like, we can put a portal here, but that doesn't really help much. We can respawn one of the cubes. Maybe we just want to swap the cubes. No, that seems... That seems like it would make our life harder, wouldn't it? What all can we see from up here? Yeah, we can't see around that corner. Like, we can respawn the one that's up there... But I feel like it's not a good idea, but what? let's, uh... We have a quick save, so let's just try it out and see what happens. So if we do... that... Hmm, that's a slight problem, though. That is indeed problematic. There's no portal surfaces around here at all. Again, and that they are different. They are different models. Like this one's a clean cube, and the dirty cube we got from over there, right? So that that's clean cube. That's dirty cube. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's all I needed to do. Actually, I think that's all I needed to do. So that makes me wonder, though. I guess this is just a return path? Yeah, that would be my guess. I think this is purely a return path in case you place both portals and you get stuck. Yeah, that's- that's what my guess is. You place both portals, throw the cubes over the edge, that's how you get back. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward, though. Then... we do this. Get our dirty cube back. Place it next to the clean cube. And there you have it. What next? Oh, you survived. That's interesting. I guess I should have factored in your weight. No fizzler? And no- no dialogue. Why was there no captions? There should be captions. Do we have a choice? Hmm... Like, this looks like it just leads back into where we were. Oh yeah, it's just a cool little... <laughs> oh no... 
<laughs> yeah, so it's just a cool little, little Easter egg area so we can see back into where we just were. Neat. Alright. Look at this hammer work. The lighting here is kind of... strange. No, that's just because it's through the grating, I guess. Either way, it looks odd. Look at those shadows. Good old low-resolution source engine shadows. Per our last conversation, you're also ugly. I'm looking at your file right now, and it mentions that more than once. <laughs> Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!